Libra welcome to my channel revolution so today we're gonna be doing a reading for you for the month of October mm -hmm. all right um, I've picked the soul's journey deck and I'm gonna be doing your initial spread with the cards all right so let's see um, what's coming up for you in the month of October please do like share and subscribe to my channel as I'm new here and your support is incredibly appreciated all right so let's see what's coming up for libra in the month of october all right my beautiful venusian air signs let's see what's coming up for libra in the month of october what is libra dealing with in the month of october what's coming up for libra in the month of october Ooh, so the first card is Judgment Libra, okay? So this says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, okay? So I feel that there is some sort of a judgment that is happening uh, between this connection, okay? Between you and this person, whoever that you're dealing with, okay? Um, maybe you are passing a judgment on someone or someone is passing a judgment on you based on how you act how you react towards them or something that happened in the past okay between you and this person uh which requires some sort of forgiveness from your end or their end okay some sort of a fight maybe you know what's libra dealing with in the month of october okay so service i feel good when i can help others okay so yeah you're taking things one step at a time okay and what you want is you want to serve others you know maybe you might be stepping into the service industry maybe you want to help others you want to be there um, to support others in their journey but at the same time you have this uh, dream within you to be able to help this person or you know support this person through their journey maybe you know even though you have this uh, uh, maybe this is this person that is judging you but you know you are just trying to help them in some way uh, you might also be stepping into some sort of a service industry like hotel or you know whatever it is that you want to uh, help others with basically okay let's see what are you dealing with in the month of october what is libra dealing with in the month of ooh, 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 ooh. okay okay i'm gonna take this one imagination okay yeah so i feel you you want to get very creative okay um you want to embrace whatever it is that is creatively within you, okay? Because this says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind, okay? So you are getting creative with how you want to serve people in the world, okay? You want to be of help to others, you want to be of service, and, you know, uh, you want to solve people's problems, but at the same time, you're being creative about it, you know, you're trying to help people very, very creatively, okay? So this is beautiful energy here, Libra. And this is your season. I mean, come on, this is Libra season now. All the Libran birthdays are going to come, you know. Uh, so happy birthday, Libras. All right. So let's see. Now we are going to, I'm, I'm going to use the Tarot of Dream deck. And I'm going to um, see the past, present and future for your energy in the month of October. All right. So give me two cards for Libra for the past energy. And what is Libra dealing with from the past? That is lingering in October. Give me two cards for the past. Ace of Swords. Beautiful Libra. Okay. This is air energy. This is all about the truth. Wanting the truth. You know. From this other person. You know. Um, and accepting nothing but the truth and clarity. Okay. Beginning your month with a lot of clarity about your past. Okay. Maybe you have received some truth from this person. Or you have... Uh, spoken some truth to them okay tell me about the uh, tell me about the past for libra what is uh, libra dealing with from the past okay so tower all right this is mars energy scorpio energy okay so there was some sort of uh, 
some sort of an ending with a king of cups okay king of cups is a scorpionic energy or water energy this could be cancer or pisces as well okay so there might have been some truth that caused uh this relationship to kind of um end here okay with this person here uh who apparently ha had a lot of love for you and that is exactly what you thought but you know things just didn't go the way you wanted them to after you probably told them your intentions and your truth of what you want from this relationship okay it caused a tower moment here or this could be this other person that caused caused the tower moment because you spoke your truth to them and that caused you to completely have this judgment moment where you are like okay if this is how it has to be then let it end okay let's see what is this present energy that libra is dealing with in the month of october what is the present energy that libra is dealing with in the month of october okay so there is a choice that needs to be made here libra this is two of wands okay this is aries energy so this is about you choosing to be of service like i said you want to step into your passion your goals okay you have this idea that you want to move forward with okay very passionately towards okay uh, this could also be a person um let's see we will know uh, with more clarification but yeah you are definitely passionate about this idea okay let's see what is the energy in the present for libra in the month of october one more card please okay okay there's a lot of cards coming here for you libra okay uh, so this is uh, seven of cups okay so there could be a lot of confusion okay because there there might be a lot of options that you have regarding what you want to do in your life and there might be some confusion re relating to that you know uh confusion about uh what does equal give and take mean to you in a relationship okay uh if this is regarding relationship if this is regarding career then you have multiple options and you are trying to decide what is the best option for you you know you want to be generous towards the other person but that is exactly what you should expect back in return as well okay because libra sometimes you can be overly helpful towards other okay you can uh, sometimes uh, bend over backwards for the other person and not realize you know that um, things have gone kind of overboard and now you need to make a decision you know so tell me about the future energy that libra is dealing with please give me two cards for the future energy that libra is dealing with in the month of october give me two cards for the future energy that libra is dealing with okay three of cups okay so this is all about celebrating with maybe your soul tribe or people that you really get along with or this could be someone who uh, who is your friend uh, who you are reconciling with or you, you are meeting up once again with okay but uh, you are also focusing on your creativity here and you want nothing but happiness okay that's what i'm seeing here like you just want to celebrate your life you don't want to be in this um you know this weird energy where you don't know where you stand okay tell me about the future energy that libra is dealing with one more card please for the future energy that libra is dealing with which is towards the end of october okay palace of cups okay this is water energy and this is the libra card beautiful libra look at you coming in hot and heavy in your own reading here okay so this is about you wanting to balance any kind of a situation that was unfair in your life you know uh in like from your past or things like that you know you want there to be an emotional reciprocation between you and the other person okay you don't want any quarreling you don't want any tiffs with anyone okay you just want to focus on your creativity uh, you uh, even if you are reconciling with someone from your past you know you want to make sure that things are right just and balanced between you and this person okay you don't want to um, you don't want to create any conflicts here is what i'm seeing okay libra so this is beautiful energy and whatever was imbalanced in the past i'm seeing that by the end of october you will receive a uh uh justice for whatever it is that you know was not in your favor or was going 
you know was not in balance according to you okay and you are going to get what you deserve okay and what you need for your life that is now let's see what is this ace of swords let's go to the past libra and let's see that what were you dealing with okay tell me about the ace of swords tell me about the ace of swords please let's go more in depth here tell me about the ace of swords moon okay so yeah there was a lot of unknown uh, energy in the past okay between you and this person maybe you felt like this person was not revealing much to you about themselves maybe they were uh, you know kind of on the quiet uh, quiet side like not revealing much to you about their motives intentions towards you okay and then the knight of swords okay so i feel like this is you rushing in with the truth that you uh, you know deserve to know but at the same time you speaking your truth to this person that listen this is not how i want things to be okay i don't mind ending this but if you are going to be you know you are going to be shut down from me you're not going to reveal things to me i i don't deserve this okay i deserve the truth and i deserve to know the truth and this is the truth that i'm giving to you this is the truth that i'm giving to you i don't i don't deserve this uh mysterious kind of energy that you are bringing in my life okay tell me about the tower like you might have attacked this person in the past not attack but in a way you might have just you know rushed towards them with the truth now this is the high priestess energy okay so yeah i i still see that even though you you did this you know um and with this truth and clarity but uh this person kind of i i feel that they i mean i i personally feel that you listen to your own intuition and you went ahead and did this but after this moment where you know this person uh did not like the way you reacted to them and did not like the way you uh wanted the truth from them you know uh as well like you did uh, give them the truth uh, it's like now you are completely you know you have gone into your shell and you are uh going with it to figure things out okay you are, you are also kind of quiet about things with them okay because you have made this judgment within your mind that this person cannot handle the truth that i give them you know and that is what i deserve and what i want okay from them tell me about the tower tell me about the tower for libra please tell me about the tower four of wands libra all right so yeah i mean you are quiet okay you are just sitting there quiet and you're trying to reminisce about this relationship and you know you wanting things to be balanced between you both okay you don't want to uh, ruffle any feathers here okay you want things to be right between you and this person here and with the king of cups you know without me asking for a clarification the card was almost falling out here so i feel that yeah this king uh, this person who you were dealing with uh, libra this could be a, a a woman or a man you know take it as it resonates but uh, yeah this person uh, this person probably thought that you were like a distant dream for them i don't know i'm just getting this feeling here that this person felt like you know you are very very distant from them although this that's not what i see from your energy here but i don't know why they are thinking like that okay but yeah i i see you focusing on your healing here yeah beautiful libra beautiful okay with the wheel of the year here uh yeah this is completely divinely guided okay this might be a karmic cycle that you were in with this person okay where they were like they could not accept the facts you know within the relationship that maybe things were not the way they were supposed to be and uh, yeah i mean you are completely focusing on your destiny here okay and i feel that this person who you were dealing with um they also feel that uh, they feel very lucky to have you in a way but they feel that uh, is this a very distant dream that i have about libra can can this be real can can this ever uh, materialize for me you know this might be a long distance relationship as well guys so uh, take it how it resonates okay all right so let's see uh, this is the past energy libra now let's see <coughs> oh, i'm so sorry libra i'm so sorry 
let's see the uh, present energy in the month of October for you Libra tell me about the two of wands tell me about the two of wands five of pentacles yeah so uh, Libra there was a decision that like I said that you know you're focusing on what to do in your life what to um, pursue in your life all right but uh, this person kind of left you out in the cold here okay and uh, because they probably did not feel good enough to be with you okay this could be what where this is stemming from okay because they might have some abandonment issues here is what I'm seeing okay so because they have this they kind of leave you out in the cold and they don't want to share things with you and they act distant and cold towards you although they have a lot of love and emotions for you here okay so you just make a decision that you know if this is how you want to behave then listen I have a lot of options and I can do whatever the hell I want you know but don't don't behave like this with me you know just just give me the truth <laughs> all right just balance the situation out so yeah tell me about the seven of cups here tell me about the seven of cups yeah death card all right scorpionic energy this might be the person you're dealing with or this might you might have scorpio somewhere in your chart okay libra so i feel that yeah because this person left you out in the cold you completely ended the situation okay and with this death energy it's like you know the this angel that is knocking at your door and you know if if you avoid this this angel it's like you are going to regret it because this energy comes to take away anything that is no longer serving you in your life okay anything that is not real is going to be taken away so i feel that uh, yeah you decided to end things with this person because they always like kept you out of the loop they didn't want to share anything with you about themselves maybe they didn't want to disclose much about themselves with you okay so tell me about uh, six of coins here yeah another seven of cups okay so yeah this is also scorpionic energy so i feel that yeah you feel that you felt very confused when it come when it came to like um the giving and receiving within this relationship okay because libra you are known for balancing things no matter what okay whenever you are giving someone you also make sure that you are receiving enough from them okay but this relationship caused a lot of confusion within you okay this might also be a very very psychic connection Libra where you might connect in your dreams and things like that you might daydream about each other okay so this is a very psychic connection but yeah I feel that um, this person even though they have a lot of love for you they caused a lot of confusion for you Libra and that is also kind of lingering in your present moment okay which is causing you to be a little confused tell me about the six of pentacles Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here. Strength. Okay. So yeah, uh, with this confusion, I feel that then you, you know, held on to yourself and you uh, focused on your own self. Okay. You practice some restraint from this connection, you know, uh, tackling your inner demons. Okay. You know, quieting your inner demons in a way. You know, not letting yourself react in the way that you would before, like, you know, just rushing in and telling them what it is that you feel. Now you're practicing some restraint and, you know, holding yourself back, um, focusing on yourself, on your service, on what you want to do in your life, okay? You might have some ideas regarding your career options. Maybe you have, like, a lot of options that you may choose to invest in regarding your career. This could also be it. In the present moment in October, okay? Now, let's see the future, like the end of October. What are you dealing with? Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Emperor, okay? This is Mars, so Aries and Scorpio energy. Yeah. So, I feel now, I feel that this is the, the, the same person that is coming back in your life, Okay? Take it how it resonates. This could be anyone. Okay, guys, this doesn't always have to be a relationship, like a love relationship. This could be a family member, co-worker, friend, anyone. Okay. But I feel that, yeah, um, you, I mean, this emperor definitely wants to reconcile with you. You know, they are being very imaginative and creative with you about how to reconcile with you, maybe take you out, you know, 
fancy dinners, whatever they um, they want to do to flow you here. Okay. Tell me about the three of cups. Maybe they are coming back to you. Okay. Here. Because they, they want to control the situation here. They don't want to let you go. Okay. With the page of pentacles, Libra. So yeah, I feel that you you will be studying them. You will try to analyze how the situation has to go forward, mm -hmm. okay? Because you are also focusing on your service and how you want to move forward, okay? So even if this person is coming in like that, you you just want your peace of mind and, you know, you're going to try to uh, maintain your state of calm, like maintain your state of calmness within this situation and yeah, yeah. Be creative about how how are you going to take things forward here, okay? This person definitely wants to come in and, uh, I mean, they're coming up as an upright emperor. So, I feel that, yeah, they are definitely interested in you here, Libra. This could, uh, this is definitely the old person I'm feeling here. Yeah, I feel you kind of being a little bit uh, cautious about this person, okay? Um... Because you definitely have some walls up regarding this person. This is the old person that you have had this ending with here, okay? And they want to come back and they are offering you something. And you are trying to understand and analyze whether they are truly interested in you or they are just playing like, you know, another another uh, mystery act, you know? They are going to pull another mystery act on you, okay? Let's see, what is this justice? Tell me about this justice. I also feel that there was a lot of uh, lacking of emotions, okay, within this connection. Like, you you didn't know how this person felt about you, okay. There was a lot of uh, maybe misleading energy where, you know, that's why you caused this judgment to happen, you know. Like, I'm getting a call. So, yeah, this might be a confirmation for you, Libra, that this is true, okay. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Oh my god, I did not notice the other deck has Empress, okay? With the Emperor here, you guys are a true pair here, Libra, okay? Karma card, okay? In the future. So yeah, I feel like Libra, this is major energies in the future. I feel that uh, this is a very karmic situation between you both. But at the same time, I mean, look at that, you know? This is such a deep card here, you know, with that Eclipse on top, right? Uh, this is a karmic situation, but at the same time, you guys are definitely a true pair here with the Empress here in the other deck here. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles, oh my god. This person definitely has a lot of feelings here for you, but I feel that Libra, they have not revealed it to you as much, okay? And uh, there has to be some forgiveness here, and I feel that you will forgive them by the end of the month because you want justice, but you are going to keep things straight here, okay? Also, Libra, if you are dealing with uh, a divorce or some kind of a separation here, legal separation, then the case is going to go in your favor. That's for sure. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice by the end of the month. By the end of October for Libra. Tell me about justice. Oh, world, okay. Yeah, so if you were dealing with some kind of a legal separation, I feel that, you know, things will go in your favor and, you know, things like that. But I feel that uh, if this was a relationship between you and this empress, um, you guys are definitely a true pair situation here. But um, yeah, I mean, because of this mystery of emotions and things like that, you know, things had to end and take a, to a turn here, okay? And if this has to end, then this will, you know, because with this justice card here, with this Libra card, I feel that, you know, whatever you deserve is what you're going to get by the end of the month, okay? Which is maybe a reconciliation with, the, uh, with this emperor, okay? Because this emperor definitely mm -hmm. wants it, but you are... Hey Libra, I'm so sorry I got a call so my previous video got disconnected but uh, this is your advice from spirit that I got, okay? And about the end card that I was explaining to you, I was saying that if the cycle has ended between you and this person, I feel that um, you are definitely going to get what it is that you deserve, okay? Now I'm going to read this card for you because this is the card that popped out in the reading while I got the call which disconnected the video, okay? So let me read this card once again for you. All right. One second. This is the card 35. Okay. 
35 okay loyal heart okay and this is a beautiful card that you got libra okay uh, uh, the meaning of this card is fidelity loyalty and devotion the message of this card is evidence of loyalty will appear in your life others will prove they are faithful to you and you will in turn commit fully to them there is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart know that spirit is always loyal to you no matter the outer circumstances in your life trust and have faith for you are eternally loved always divinely protected and divinely directed relationship message your partnerships friendships and romantic relationships all have many qualities in common right now honest devotion faithfulness and a loyal heart are being shown to you are you as loyal in return now is the time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in divine protection prosperity message your long term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form in reality success is finally taking shape if you are loyal to your dreams faithful to your plans while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others you will be shown proof of your true prosperity you know with the service card libra i mean this is a beautiful card that you got you know you want to be of help to others i feel that loyal hearts will be shown to you you know if you are stepping into a new career or whatever it is that you're planning in your life okay this is like a birthday gift to you from spirit okay that people are definitely going to show you their true colors be it loyalty or be it infidelity okay whatever it is this is a time for a joyful celebration of spirit your manifesting partner protection message are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it now is the time to look at outdated beliefs old ideas and misplaced loyalties betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life be new think new and open your heart to new things let go of the old and all your attachments spirit has awesome plans for you make some room all right beautiful message for you libra you know in your birth